here it is then, the all new 2017 Ford Fiesta. Now for such a small car, the Fez Bomb has some serious numbers behind it. It's been Britain's best selling car since 2009. It's remained the best selling car. And in fact, it's the best selling car in the UK ever, like ever. Even today, it continues to outsell its closest competitor by nearly two to one. And even if you're not a Fiesta fan, that is still hugely impressive. Thing is though, it's so popular and you see so many of them, it's almost impossible not to be a Fiesta fan. Ford knows this, and so the all new version is more of an evolution rather than a revolution. But anyway, enough blabbering, let's jump in and we'll see what's new. Well, let's start with interior, which was by far the weakest point on the last car, particularly towards the end of its life cycle, and it's something which you will have heard me say plenty of times before. Virtually all of its rivals had gotten touch screens and more upmarket style materials, and yet here was the Fiesta with its Motorola Razr style button dash thing. Not so anymore, I mean, look how smart it is in here. You've now got soft touch materials up here, and very obviously, this 6.5 inch touchscreen, which comes with Ford's Sync 3 infotainment system, which is light years ahead of the previous Sync systems. Still not the best in class, mind, but it's nice to look at and easy and responsive to use. There's an absolute ton of different trim options available with the new Fiesta, so much so that if I went through each one individually, we'd probably be here for about 40 minutes. So instead, if you want to click on that link up there, it'll take you to the Car Keys site where you can see all of the different options and stuff available. The biggest seller is likely to be this ZTEC trim, which comes with equipment like DAB radio, adaptive cruise control, and autonomous emergency braking. There's no sat nav as standard, though you can add it as a £300 option. And there's also the option of a seriously powerful Bang & Olufsen stereo system, which is a good add-on if you're an audiophile. Practicality, meanwhile, has never been a particularly strong suit for the Fiesta. It does the job, but it just sort of does it all right. With this new model, rear seat space has improved by 16 millimeters, but that's not a huge amount in the real world. And so if you specify particularly a three-door model, rear passengers will probably find it a little bit cramped. Still, it's about on par with main rivals like the Ibiza and the Polo, while it's also got lots of new little bits and bobs to boost practicality. The front glove box, for example, is now 20% larger. There's this big storage bin in the middle, along with large door pockets in the rear doors. The boot is now slightly bigger as well. There's 292 litres of space with the rear seats up. That's a whole two. 2 litres more than the outgoing model. However, with the rear seats down, there's now 1,093 litres, which is a lot more than the 974 litre capacity of the previous Fiesta. That's enough about the interior though, because arguably just as important is how the Fiesta drives. The last one built its reputation as being one of the best cars to drive in its class, and so this new one has a hell of a lot to live up to. You'll be pleased to learn, therefore, that this one is just as much of a laugh as the last one. There are a few bits and bobs that are new. The track is wider. There's an all-new suspension setup with more sophisticated dampers, which aims to make the car more comfortable, but also to boost cornering, agility and precision. It's still got that characteristic Fiesta chuck ability. It resists body roll very well. The steering is well weighted and precise, but it's also quite comfortable on long journeys and over broken road surfaces as well. So basically small car agility, but big car ride. In terms of engines, there's the familiar range of one liter EcoBoost petrols available in outputs of up to 138 brake horsepower. The old and frightfully sluggish 1.25 liter petrol has now been replaced by a new 1.1 liter, while there's also a 1.5 liter diesel, but let's be honest, who the hell is buying those? It's probably one of the EcoBoosts the old one then, and so we've got the most popular option here, the 98 brake horsepower, which comes as standard with a six-speed manual gearbox. It's quite a feisty and a boisterous little motor. It'll do not the 62 miles per hour at 10.5 seconds, which isn't bad considering the power, and it'll run all the way on to 113 miles an hour. However, more important than outright power will probably be affordability. This one litre engine with a 98 brake horsepower can on paper return up to 65.7 miles per gallon with just 93 grams per kilometre of CO2. Now, in terms of outright pricing, the new Fiesta starts from £12,715, while this mid-spec ZTEC starts from £13,995. That makes it a little bit more pricier than rivals, however, for many, it's probably worth it for the amount of kit that you get with the new Fiesta. As well as that, residual values are estimated to be good, so leasing and PCP deals are likely to be cheap. In fact, Ford says that this new one will cost just £15 a month more than the old one. The previous Fiesta was widely regarded as one of the best small cars ever, and deservedly so. 
This new one, well, in pretty much every respect, it's even better. It had a lot of catching up to do in terms of interior and equipment, and there are now many more, many more competitive rivals than ever before. But you know what? I reckon this one still sits at the top of the pile. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you'd like to find out more about the 2017 Ford Fiesta, you can click on the link that's on your screen now. To watch another Car Keys video, click the other link. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button.